Hello and welcome. Welcome. To this week's Faith and Friends. Here I am hiding, hiding behind this nice picture from Gifts of Joy that's donated for the auction. August is ending. September is coming. It's here. My goodness. Time is flying. It is almost time for the auction. Absolutely. We're just a week and a half away and we are still accepting donations for the annual TV44 auction. It's coming up September the 10th. Items can be dropped off at 1844 Beatty Road, Monday through Friday, this week from 10 to 3. Next week, the auction week, drop off times are Tuesday and Wednesday, 9.30 to 3, and then on Thursday, 9.30 1. Of course, we invite you all to attend the TV44 auction next Saturday, September the 10th. We'll talk more about the auction in just a bit, but first, look at what's coming up on this week's show, the last show of August. Wayne's Dog 2016 was rained out, but not before half the musical artists had a chance to take the stage. Jennifer Tox, one of the local bands who was outside and has been finding success in opening for major national Christian music artists. Also on today's show, a message from Lisa Turkhurst, founder of Proverbs 31 Ministries on her upcoming event right here in Lima. Today's scripture is from the book of Romans, Romans 12, verses 9 through 16. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil, cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love, in honor giving preference to one another. Not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer, distributing to the needs of the saints, given to hospitality. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. And, you know, I go back to one of the earlier verses in that passage, cling to what is good. It, it can be difficult to do that. Mm -hmm. Certainly we hope this next half hour will be plenty of, th of things for which you to cling to, which will be good. And that is part of our mission here at TV44, to give you good things over the airwaves. Such a rich passage there with so many action words, things we can be doing, should be doing, uh, should be trying to grow our faith closer to God. Faith without those works is dead, James says. And so we are trying to continually work out that salvation, which I love. It is an ongoing process. It does not end the moment. I was just actually studying with my, uh, my daughter last week about how there are three levels of sanctification. It's when you were saved, hmm as you are going through the process and then in that final day when God's glory is revealed. And uh, so it's, it's an ongoing process. And if you have a tough day, a down day, don't let it get you down right. because God says, I forgive you. Your sin is as far as the east is from the west. Let's start over again now and let's focus on the future from here and now. Well, we are counting down the days to the TV44 auction. New items are arriving literally every day, including these outdoor, these chairs, these nice, nice. rocking chairs that uh, we're displaying right here on Faith and Friends from the Trans. Granary. Oh. Absolutely. You've got the wow. chance to you know, fold that down and <laughs> keep some beverages with you. Yeah. And uh, these are just some of the items provided by the Granary. We have more high quality outdoor furniture as well as a very nice oversized chair and ottoman set. Some great furniture coming up on the auction September 10th. Some of the many brand new items that will be available at this year's auction. As we mentioned, September the 10th, including some vintage items. Y you have to talk about what this <laughs> hat here is. This is a vintage hat that has, well, it's been to the Kentucky Derby. Wow. One of two hats that we have as well as some vintage clothing items. Here we go, guys. I'm all set. I think you need to keep that on. It's you think now, so? You just up the value. It's been worn by <laughs> Jennifer back <laughs> on live television. Hey, it is. I, you don't have to worry a about floppy. a sunburn with this kind of a hat. There's two of them. Are we selling them as a set? No, no. They're two different. Okay. The other one, you're going to have to come to the auction to be able to see the second one. It's not purple. I think it's a navy blue color, but both of them, very nice hats. And you know, the original price on this was Oh, over $450 for yeah. this hat. I like the fact that we have this very lovely, very dainty, very feminine hat resting on top of a welder. <laughs> We've got hardware for auction as well. So we literally have something for everybody coming up September the 10th, including... That's brand new, by the way. Star Trek checkers. Star Trek checkers. That's from Midwest Welding Equipment Repair. Thank you for donating that brand new item. Yes. We have Star Trek checkers. Look at this, Andy. Nice we could that comes with it. play checkers right here Open up on that our set. brand new set. It's a round board. Well, I guess that's, what is that, another game on top of it? 
these are the, the pieces. Checker, cool. This is the checkerboard. Mm -hmm. What a unique item here. You're going to get the checkers pieces out. We also have music tickets from Trinity Communications for all the winter and fall tour, including some Mercy Me Christmas. I was at the Nice Wonger last year. What a great performance mm -hmm. they put on for Christmas. Thank you so much, Trinity Communications, for donating two tickets to each of these events. 10th Avenue North, mm -hmm. Casting Crowns, comedian Ken Davis. We also have tickets for his September 30th event for WTGN, Christmas with Mercy Me, like you said, and Sela, all of those just nearby in Fort Wayne. Very good. Thanks to Swartz Contracting as well. As we have trips available, there will be a $150 gift certificate to La Comedia Dinner Theater, as well as a premium family membership to COSI, which includes discounted or free entrance to more than 200 zoos and science centers across the country. I'm also holding tickets to Ohio State versus oh. Indiana at the Shoe in Columbus. We'll have those for you. We've got some Reds tickets. Um, all kinds of things. Last week we had a $300 gift certificate uh, donated for the Ohio State Parks, good for camping and lodge rental at any of the 70 state parks, mm -hmm. overnight stay, and admission to Sauter Village and Heritage Inn in Archbold, $250 gift certificate to the Farmstead Inn in Shipshawana. Of course, this is just a tiny sampling of everything that will be up for bid. Two, two vehicles from Tom All, one or two vehicles from Lee Kinsel, lots of stuff. Yeah, we, as we mentioned, bicycles, Buckeye tickets, lots of uh, very nice furniture, uh, also lawn mowers as well. Be sure to visit WTLW.com regularly to view our updated pictures of donated items, including Sorry. some very nice collectibles for your tea parlor, as uh, Be perhaps careful you will. With this that. Is, uh, that is very. Uh, been valued very highly, um, and we are accepting donations five days a week, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now, call ahead for any other drop-off days and times. It also helps if you call ahead if you're going to need uh, maybe some help with large items or heavy items, or if you have many items, you might need people to help unload. Give us a call, but we are accepting items up until two days before the auction. And I'd love to help people unload pies and cakes. We need a few more pies, don't oh, we? Oh, I forgot to bring, I was going to read to you a list of our pies. Oh. I think we're at like 42 pies wow. right now, including cream pies and fruit pies and pumpkin pies. All right, you got pumpkin pie, I'm happy. Um, yes. Pecan pie. There are so many reasons for you to come to the auction on September 10th. It does start at 9 o'clock in the morning. 8.30 in the morning is registration. It's going to be a fun day. Even if you aren't in a position where you can bid, just come out, enjoy the time together, because TV44 is a community station, and this is a community event. Of course, we have the tent as well, so if weather is an, an issue, you'll be under that tent, you'll be kept dry, or cool perhaps, or warm perhaps, <laughs> who knows what the temperatures will be like, that'll help you. Uh, don't let weather deter you on September 10th. Certainly, we talk about the auction quite a bit around here, and that's because you wonder why is that important well since the beginning of tv 44 some 30 odd years ago we have been funded through viewers like you we're a non-profit station and your support has been and continues to be a major blessing to this ministry and that is the same for the tv 44 auction this is an opportunity for individuals to donate to us in another way giving items instead of just giving money donating financially it's an opportunity for individuals in the community to come to the auction and bless our ministry by bidding on those items. The money raised is used to support programs like Wiz Quiz, Holiday Music Festival, and this show, <laughs> Faith and Friends. All of our local productions are costly, so anything you are able to do in support of the TV44 auction, donate, attend, bid, or pray, you are partnering with us to keep this ministry alive. TV44 is a community station, of course. And that's another great aspect about the TV44 auction. It's family friendly. It's a community event. My kids, my wife, uh, my, my kids have grown up there. They come every year to Saturday. My wife hasn't grown up there, but she sure loves coming to the auction and just being a part of it. So yes, your donations are still accepted this week, Monday through Friday, 10 to 3, next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, 9.30 to 3, and Thursday, 9.30 to 1. Friday is setup day, and you're welcome to join us September the 9th at 9 a.m. to help us move out of this very packed studio. You can't see all the items that are in our studio right now, but we're going to take it outside under the big top, and then Saturday, September 10th is that big day with registration opening at 8.30, bidding beginning at 9. Well, Wayne's stock was August 20th, and it was supposed to be 
Well, the hope was it would be a sunny day, just like all the other Wayne stocks. Things changed a little bit this year. They certainly did. The event did start out well with a large crowd gathering right at the beginning, but pop up thunderstorms and then eventually a tornado warning canceled the outdoor event at Skip Bachman Stadium before the final three national acts could take the stage. One of this year's returning bands was City of Bright, a sibling band based out of Sydney. While many took shelter in Cook Gymnasium at St. Mary's, Jennifer talked with the band about the growth of their music industry. Tough ending for Wayne Stock this year. Weather came in and actually forced closing of the concert before the three main headliners hit the stage. But City of Bright hails from Sydney, but has traveled all across the country with their singing. Did have an opportunity to uh, be on the stage this year and just give us an update. It's been a while since we've had you on our show, Faith and Friends. Tell us what's going on with City of Bright. Uh, we've been really busy playing solid all year long, and God's just been opening more doors for us and taking our music further, so it's been good. That's great. Any special um, shows that you've had recently that really come to mind where you can just really see God doing some stuff in those things? Yeah, yeah. we actually just played a festival um, in Indiana called Allstruck, and it was a really awesome show. It was with Building 429 and a couple other great bands. But yeah, just getting to meet the people there. And after the show, they came up and they were telling us about how some of our songs just impacted them. And so that was a really, it was a good one. Yeah. I have to admit, when I hear Jordan Felice's new Ever Too Far Gone song, I think of you guys because you have a song that's so similar to that. Now, Jess, you've been drumming for several years. Um, you know, you, you and your sisters are doing this thing. Why is it so special for you guys to be able to do this as a family? Um, I would say just growing up and being able to do the music and then going into it is just something I hold close to my heart. You know, it's, I mean, it's siblings, so, I mean, I get to be with them everywhere. We may have our ups and downs, but uh, we have fun and we're doing it for God, so we love it. That's great. It's been, it's been fun watching all of you grow and use your talents the way God has um, chosen. Now, you're still booking local events, so, of course, national events. Um, if people want to get a hold of you, what's the best way? Um, the best way is to go to our website, cityofbright.com, and then just hit the contact button. It's all right there. Our job, honestly, our job is just to be obedient to God. Our reactions, they determine our reach. They determine how much impact, how much influence, how much character, how much godliness. We have to remember my job isn't God's job and God's job isn't my job. Our reactions, they matter when we dare to praise God in the midst of whatever we're facing. We see the hand of God move and we see the more we do battle on our knees, the less we have to battle in the flesh. And I don't know about you, but that's a really good thing. We need to be faithful representatives as we represent Christ everywhere we go. But we miss it if we don't have the attitude and the heart cry of being thankful. Praise God Almighty, I don't have to live my life. I am able to live my life. Lisa's coming to the UNOH Event Center September the 23rd and 24th. To purchase tickets, call the Event Center directly, 419-998-8805. Well, four tickets to the upcoming Women's Conference at the UNOH Event Center will be among the items up for bid at our auction on September the 10th. And over the past few months, we've been sharing various auction items with you right here on Faith and Friends, sometimes having a, a little fun in the process. So as we gear up for the big day, let's take a look back. Hello and welcome to Faith and Friends. We come to you from the first donated auction couch of the season. It is a one-of-a-kind, one-of-one piece. It's a three-piece sectional that will be up for bid at the 2016 TV44 auction. Of course, you are welcome to bring us your auction items or couch number two or three. Pot, pasta pot. We Always this. have got some golf clubs as well. we got a bike here. You can just see the very tips of it. Thank you. There's no pasta in there, though. <laughs> We, we were accepting pasta donations as well, <laughs> as well as cake donations. You know, Andy will go on and on about the food. Yeah. Hey, I have some stuff, some neat stuff. Wow, that is a bag full of neat stuff. This is. These are auction items. Western Sizzlin', mm, Happy dinner. Days. All right. These are two gift certificates for family memberships to Prairie View Golf Club. Includes all members living in the home. 
kids ages 24 years and younger included. Wow, is that for next year? Next that is golfing for season? next year, yes. Next That's golfing season, deal. we'll have two of those available at the TV44 auction. Spencer family in Waynesville, we certainly thank for that wonderful donation. And these are just a few of the gift certificates. Kings Island is also in here. All right, I was just there two weeks ago. African Safari Wildlife Park. Auction time now, and here we go. What do you do think? I got my chair now. What do you think of this? Uh, Itty Rocker recliner, good night. love seat. The th items that we are sitting here are just on loan to us. Andy can't enjoy this too much. I love summertime. We get to enjoy all the auction <laughs> items before you can enjoy them yourself. Well, your we're sitting on some great couches here that have been provided to us from Ottoville Fine Furniture. Very a love seat couch. Just a few of the many items. Um, of course, Bigfoot <laughs> is going to be up for bid at the auction. We also have this nice little bike. Bigfoot's bike. Now Big that's a real life-size bicycle. It just appears tiny because Bigfoot <laughs> and Andy are next to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is a miniature bike. <laughs> well, maybe you'll have to come to the auction to find out if we're telling the truth or not. You know, check this out. This is a Panda Peddler bike. Oh, wow. And it is, it's, it's a heavy bike. That's it's probably a, real steel. I mean, that's that's an old school bicycle. It's a dependable, durable bicycle. Great for uh, the kids to throw around if they're strong enough to throw that around. <laughs> Hopefully your house doesn't have people throwing around bikes. But if they do, <laughs> we have a Celebrate Recovery program that perhaps you've heard of. It. It's a great program. Be sure, though, to visit WTLW.com regularly to view our uploaded pictures of auction items that have been donated. So we're back and our fish is taking shape. I just need to do the smile, right? That's There's right. a picture of Jennifer. Hey, you can just hang it right on the wall like this Reminds and I can just sit there pages. all the time. So I'm cutting the smile, huh? So this is an item that'll be available for the auction, which is pretty incredible. It's a beautiful, beautiful picture frame. Of course, this table is available for the auction. This is uh, just one of a four set of some really, really nice um, dishes, square dishes. This nightstand over here was donated by Lynn Lehman, just beautiful piece. Back here we've got an FDR style um, wheelchair. FDR style. In weeks to come, we'll make sure you That's can see that a little closer. Is it, just it working? It just it looks just like, like a rocket. It is working okay. and uh, Abby tried it out in the parking lot and We'll oh. tell you that. I'm thinking in the coming week, I've got this idea of a bike race that we might be doing and we might put the wheelchair in there. Okay. We'll see. So how are you doing here? And I, I will offer my services too. If anyone would like to bid on them as a watermelon <laughs> cutter, I will come to your house and cut your watermelon into a shape that Jennifer finds by pictures only on the internet. I have to tell you this website that, that we found. Which doesn't make any sense to me. Has what is a it? Lot a spot on the porch a, a, com or something? A lot of other really good ideas. So maybe we'll have to make this a you know weekly I feel like trend. Such an artist. This could be a new yeah. This could be a new hobby for you. I'm terrible at art. I'm very not good with my. Andy, hands. you're not terrible. The first thing is you have to be positive. You have to speak positively about your Mr. skills. Mr. Tenais in kindergarten art class never told me that. Maybe I was set off on the wrong foot. Uh, that that's that. I hate to admit, but there's been a lot of adults who have said negative things to kids, and it's ruined them. <laughs> This is your. He's a good art teacher, though. I don't want to throw Mr. Tenace on What do you think, there. guys? Do you th do you think at home that he is a good carver? I hear them clapping. Oh, yeah. They're clapping at home. Woohoo! We will have our tent set up for the auction September the 10th, and all these items will be up for bid, including in the middle. You see Anna with her stylish sunglasses and Hello Kitty helmet. Those won't be up for bid, but that FDR era wheelchair will be. She'll be racing along with her. Uh, Escort Abby. Grace has the Atlantic Coast Cruiser as she waves to the crowd. Ben Reif, uh, not a game show host, he is a bike rider. Response recumbent is what we call that apparatus. And Veronica Wendy on the Raleigh Metro M7. They're going to take at least two laps. We'll see if we give them more. On your marks, get set, go! They're going around the parking lot at least two times. Nathan, I hear you have a joke that's appropriate for this race. Yeah. What's the joke? What kind of baboon can fly? What kind of baboon can fly? Because these bike racers need to fly. What do you What do you think? I don't know. I, um, a hot air baboon. A hot air baboon. And talk about lots of air behind him. That is Ben Reif. Veronica Wendy, I think, needed a pit stop here as Anna is trying to reach the trees. 
They are running a race to win the prize. One more lap. We're going to give you one more lap as they go around. Nathan, do you have a Bible verse for us? Quickly, go. Um, I, I don't know. That's okay. They run the race to win the prize for which Christ Jesus has called us heavenward. Look at this win by Anna and Abby. Ben Reif will come in second on the recumbent recliner, looking oh so stylish. Nice race by Grace. And we lost Veronica. So the bike is just fine. Veronica just needs to work on her bike riding skills. What a great day here at the TV44 parking lot. You can race your own bike if you get back on September the 10th and win one of these fine things. Then you, you get, get in touch with the other folks who will win the the wheelchair, the recumbent, the two bikes, and you can have your own race right here in the TV44 parking lot. Well, this is the last week that you're going to hear us talk about our graphics campaign. You know, it was an unexpected summer project, and we had to come to you and say, look, this is where we are. Can you do anything to partner with us? And we are so grateful for the way you have responded. We have quite a few uh, gifts still coming in for this, don't we? We have $20 from Ottawa. $1,000 from Bluffton, also $100 from Lima. Thank you so much for being a part of our campaign. A gift from Columbus Grove, another gift from Van Wert, and uh, another gift from Lima. Thank you so much. And there is still time to donate to this project. You can donate online at WTOW.com, in person here at the station. You can mail your gift or you can call over the phone at 419-339-4444. Many thanks to all of you from us at TV44. Yeah, we actually are only about halfway to our goal of $75,000, so we still have a way to go. We're not gonna continue talking to you on TV about this because we know that there's a lot of things going on, both in your house and in ours, um, but it is still a need. So if God presses it on your heart, um, you know, we will continue to accept donations toward this project even after we're done coming to you every day on TV and reminding you about it. Well, before we go, just a few things to remember. This is the final full week to bring auction donations, Monday through Friday, 10 to 3. If you're watching this on Saturday and still have some items to bring next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are your days. However, Thursday, 1 o'clock, is the cutoff for items for this year's auction. And of course, next Saturday, September 10th, is the day of our fundraising auction. But now, finally, our scripture from Romans chapter 12. Verses 9 through 16. Just let this soak in. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love and honor, grieving, giving preference to one another. Not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer, distribu distributing to the needs of the saints, given to hospitality. Hope that that's a blessing to you during this time as we get ready for a lot of new things starting in our lives from school to kids going back to school to all kinds of new jobs. We bless you this day. you lady yes you it doesn't matter if you think you're young or if you think you're old you're a lady in fact you're a lovely lady that's a message straight from God no matter how you see yourself God sees the loveliness in you you are a lovely lady in his sight so hey there lovely lady it's time to gather with a group of other ladies so we can reflect on what it means to be a lovely lady reflecting Christ I invite you to join me for reflections of a lovely lady fall women's retreat October 7th and 8th at Mount Tabor Church of God near Salina, Ohio. This event is open to any woman or girl age 10 or older. In addition to some powerful and encouraging main sessions, we've got breakout sessions designed to tackle that one struggle area in your life. And what's a retreat without some laughter? Leslie Norris Townsend joins us with a blend of stand-up comedy, music, and get ready, audience participation. But don't let that audience participation thing scare you away. It's going to be a great weekend, one that could change your life in ways you don't expect. So gather your sisters, your sisters in Christ, your sisters who need Christ, and all the other ladies you can find. And join me October 7th and 8th for the Reflections of a Lovely Lady Women's Retreat at Mount Tabor Church of God, Salina. Visit TaborReach.org or call 419-363-3653 for more information.